Good evening. How are you? I don't know who any of you are that are going to watch this, if anyone actually even does watch this, to be honest. So, it's Sunday evening, it's 10 to 10, and another weekend is over. Tomorrow's Monday, which kind of sucks, because it means going back to work or college or whatever you happen to do with your life in the week. But, of course, it's half term for most people here, and it means that I've got a short week at work. In fact, I'm only in two days. I'm in Monday, and I think I'm in Thursday, but to be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing. The rest of the time, I'm going to be doing my exceedingly sad hobby of working at the Avon Valley Railway, which is a heritage railway here between like well it's in the middle between Bristol and Bath about five minutes from where I live to be honest which is quite cool so yeah I work there I'm um, a guard that's what I'm doing this week anyway that means it's kind of like it's the guy in charge of the train to be honest and it's the one that waves flags and blows whistles and all that kind of stuff and you don't because we're using the little DMU as it's called uh, seriously though if you want a train ride come visit come say hi to me on Tuesday Wednesday or Friday but we were running all the way through like Monday through to next Sunday because we've been running this weekend as well but that's enough of that rubbish I um decided to like repost my link to my Spillet profile last night and I don't know why it's kind of it's almost scary actually knowing what people really think of you but I'm going to stop fiddling with the remote control because it keeps making noises I mean I keep playing with the battery cover not a good thing, I'm obsessed with battery covers I'm not but they're quite addictive to play with. Anyway, yeah, I posted my split link to find out what people actually think of me. I'll be honest, I was actually really quite shocked and I went to sleep last night feeling a bit upset because I had one comment that was posted that says, you're a general disappointment who often fails to live up to expectations. I know you're close to giving up, maybe you should. Nice! There's some lovely people out there. I wonder if, to be honest, the person who posted that is just as likely to see this video. Ugh. Anyway, then I had, you tweet far too much about things nobody needs to know or cares about. Thanks. There's a button on Twitter that's called unfollow. It's quite simple. If you don't like what I say, unfollow me and I'll return the favour. I don't care, alright? Then someone actually sticking up for me, or whoever they are, they're lovely. You need to ignore those last couple assholes. I think you are funny and sweet and wish we lived close enough to visit. Well, whoever you are that posted that, all these are anonymous. Whoever you are, I think you're fantastic. Yeah, I wish I could meet people like you. Please let me lick your vagina again. It cured my chicken pox last week. I'm glad that my vagina has that effect on you. It was, to be honest, it was news to me that I had one. And I certainly didn't know anyone had licked it. Oh my god. Oh, the best looking guy on my news feed. I have no idea who that is. I'm sure you're beautiful too. I think that if you're as unhappy as your tweets often seem to suggest, you need to be proactive about changing these things for yourself. It may seem difficult, but it's never impossible. Well, I like a bit of inspiration like that. It's it's nice. That was posted well, this morning, I think, actually, because... This morning? It says four hours ago, but I'm sure that was... No, it was. It was this afternoon. It was four hours ago. Duh, James. <coughs> anyway. 
Yeah, okay. Some of my tweets are depressing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not like... I'm not, like, ultimately depressed. I'm actually quite a happy, cheerful, crazy, random person. But... Okay, I'm the same as anyone else. I get lonely, I get sad, and... It's my vent. It's how I do things. It's like... This is Twitter. I've been asked by a website to say, what are you thinking about? And I just say, what I'm thinking about. And if it happens to be the crap that goes through my mind and why my life is rubbish or seems rubbish at the moment, because let's be honest, my life isn't rubbish. I'm very lucky compared with a lot of people in the world. But if that's what's on my mind and I'm feeling sorry for myself, I've got no one else to turn to, I post it on Twitter. Sorry. That's just how it is. But yeah, thanks to whoever said, you should go for it, try and make your life better. I know it's difficult, but it isn't impossible, and I am trying. I'm trying to be happy, honest. It's quite weird, because basically, if you haven't noticed, my eyes are like facing slightly down. You're there, and I'm looking down here. That's because I'm watching myself record this. God. That's it. All it shows is that I really could do with a shave. It's the worst thing. I hate being, like, older. That's the worst thing that ever happened during puberty, I think, is when you start growing facial hair. I mean, what is the point in facial hair? But anyway, I was watching World's Toughest Place to Be a Train Driver, mainly because, as I'm sure you're aware from earlier... I like trains. Yay, I'm sad. Go me. Put the bloody remote down. God. Anyway, I got bored of that, so I thought I'd make this video. I'm going to try and start actively using my YouTube channel again, and probably posting the links to these videos on Twitter. This is the first of, essentially, an entirely random set of, almost vlog, I hate that word, type videos and I forgot that comment. I have one look, look at this one. Ah uh, it's just made the screen white. Yes it says you stole my wife. Well hey. Anyway I stole someone's wife, I think that highly unlikely. Can't remember stealing anyone's wife. I might have done hmm. But, knowing me, I don't think so. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to start trying to use my YouTube channel again. People have no reason to watch any of my videos. I created one, like, I think it was in 2006. That's a long time ago now. Might be in 2007. I have no idea. Between Christmas and New Year. And it was Grace Kelly, Mika, and... It was an animated video. That was really popular. It's got 460-ish thousand views at the moment, and it was popular. And I always try to do videos which are as popular again, but it's always failed miserably. So I'm just going to start talking crap in videos and seeing if anyone's interested. I bet this will probably have about three views within a year, if I'm lucky, which I'm not. But yeah. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now, and I'm going to post this YouTube, and I'll post a link to Twitter, and I'm walking backwards and forwards like I'm possessed in the mirror. Yeah. Anyway, if you can, uh, if you can actually have got through this nine minutes of me talking rubbish and still not got absolutely fed up with my awful voice, which kind of got stuck somewhere between a boy and a man. It's quite awkward. I wish it would finish breaking at some point and I actually sound a bit more manly, but I don't think that's going to happen. And my accent's fairly terrible. So, I hope you can actually still understand what I'm saying. I'm talking absolute balls now, if I'm honest. So, um, yeah, I'm signing off. Cheers. Bye for now.